Hi, Omega Chaos here again. Um, beef, another episode of Revolution of Rank Up, and this time I am dwelling with my Rank Up uh, Shark deck. So, uh, let's see how it goes. Getting to my regular uh, uh, episodes, my different dwellings, I guess, last week, but of course now I am pretty much back with the regular content. Interesting. Not sure what I should do at this point. Just move this car. And it's one wide up shot from my deck. And this time I, I am on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro because their price grind kind of screwing up. And not showing the usernames correctly when you are hosting that well. Which makes things pretty difficult. Now someone then, number 37, Hope Woman Dragon Spider Shock. It's just definitely a really good addition to this deck. I actually completely changed this deck around. I took out the Bahamut Shark uh, aspect uh, because it took too much extra uh, space and uh, it's not really that worth it. And also, uh, took out uh, a Crystal Zero and uh, Crystal Zero Lancer because I don't really summon rank 5s in this deck very often anymore. So the biggest change is definitely in the extra deck. And I cut some monsters as well. Good boss, this deck is definitely a slower deck and you have to rely more on your back rifle. And my punch just quit, so I guess I won. So I guess let's go to the next one. And I'm back. So let's see how it goes this time. Wow, 60 card deck. Wow. Well, I guess the only problem with Yu Gi Oh! Pro is that the player base is uh, not that great. Like people on tablet. Try to be more competitive. Nothing wrong with being, being casual, of course, but those decks that many play, like 60 cards, card decks, and uh, or decks that are just uh, so bad that they, they are not even playable. Because even I have like so many problems currently with uh, building uh, unique and interesting decks that are actually uh, decent. Well, I don't think that, that will do much. Of course, currently the meta is dominated dominate by the uh, performance football deck, and it's. Pretty much everywhere now in the TCG as well. Hopefully the panelists will do something about that deck because, like uh, you probably know, it's a TR0 deck for sure. It got uh, not officially confirmed, but uh, it got uh, 27 spots in the top 32 in that event, so it's completely insane. And there were some, of course, some Cosmo in there, one Burning West, and uh, the Atlantean deck as well. I feel like many are playing the Atlantean deck incorrectly because they are using uh, so many uh, Mermel monsters in there, but with Neptavis, the Mermels are not even necessary anymore, I feel. You just, uh, yeah, just use Megalo and that's it.
I have a plant just quit the gun. I, uh, that's kind of unfortunate. So I guess uh, let's go to the next one again. And I'm back again. I hope I get to play against a good opponent this time. Well, this is definitely not good draw. Yeah, I am running 7th one in this deck. Because it's pretty much a Nosh's signature rank magic, so I kinda have to run it for that reason. And it's of course still very very powerful if you don't throw it in your opening hand. But of course, I threw it. Kinda sad, but well, I think I, but I can still get some use out of it, I guess. Why? This thing should actually go for it now or on something else. Yeah, I think it's good going to the utopic dragon. Nothing better to do currently anyway. So yeah. Hyper rank up execute change number 99 utopic dragon. Still pretty nice card. I would use the Shining number zero, but uh, you kind of need to run Utopia Ray as well in that case. And I don't really want to waste uh, more extra deck space for, uh, yeah, just uh, to pre prevent Cement uh, from becoming uh, a dead draw. <laughs> yeah, I hope that we actually get some shark hearts. So I can actually finally complete this deck in real life as well, just as a fun deck, of course. My, my prediction is that we get some in the gold says. Okay, Tribune Frog, I haven't seen that card played for a pretty long time. Frog marks are definitely... No inferior, of course, to the regular monarchs with the different monarchs, person taps, and all that. And vassals. The Stosha deck is coming up very soon in the CG as well. It's pretty much uh, acts as an anti meta deck to perform as performable. And it's also pretty broken, I would say. Snipers, okay, that's kinda interesting, I guess. I'm not sure what that's going to do. Oh, it's lacquer magician. Hmm, I think that's fine. I don't think I really care. No, but it is kind of annoying for me. I tried to mermaid shark and search for something. Hmm, interesting. I search for Xyz Remove. So that allows me to uh, detach two Xyz materials from the top of the dragon and then activate the effect to summon it. Summon two from my graveyard and then go for pre material and for Xyz Monster. That's definitely very good. Mostly it's going to be my number. Uh, ready to shock drink. I might want to add another, another one in, but there's really only one other Primatea rank for water. And it's the uh, one with no effect, Kaki Water Reason. It has 29.50. So, not really the greatest card, to be honest. And attack that. As soon as I definitely have to uh, switch my tail for background and banner, but I'm waiting for some cute uh, scans of uh, card artworks of, uh, of Ultimate Falcon and Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon mainly. Mm. Ok, 
Okay, still a bit too thousand. Attack of that. And attack with Flash Shark Drake for the second time as well. So I think that was pretty good play. I want to pre decide if my opponent had Dark Hole or a Gekki Ball. But hopefully that's not the case. I guess it was kind of an overextending play, but I kind of wanted to get rid of that. Slacker Magician. So I guess my opponent is playing some sort of a level 1 deck with, of course, focusing on the rank 1 Exit Monsters. You can definitely do something with that. Especially if you run you know, like rank one Utopia and rank it up to so Utopia Trion or something else. Like King Kabaya, that's not bad as well. But I guess I let it happen for now. Let's see what my opponent is going to do next. If there is something dangerous going to come out, and I have to probably swim so not set. Yeah, like a thought. Lionheart. I then when you have to negate some of that because it's that one is very dangerous. And my plant surrendered, so I won again. So I yeah, I think we can do at least one more duel. So back soon again. And I'm back again. So the last duel of this video probably. If my plant of course doesn't quit very fast. I have been gaining quite a lot of subscribers. Uh, new subscribers recently, so thank you all for subscribe, subscribing to my channel. If you are new to my to, to my Yu-Gi-Oh channel, uh, I uh, do a lot of uh, unique tech profiles. At least I try to make them unique, and uh, a lot of uh, Dev Pro or Yu-Gi-Oh Pro dual videos. I do duals with uh, live commentary. But they also, of course, try to like some discussions sometimes as well. But unfortunately, I'm not uh, very good with them. So it's uh, number 30 on your two PR roots. I should try to attack it. That was definitely a weird play. I mean, we not just not target the maid with uh, light mausoleum and then get the blue eyes. That's very unusual. I don't really get that play at all. Like wasting your maidens for that. Definitely not worth it. Found shrine. I would try and try and shine as well, but I don't really have space in my blue eyes deck for that, to be honest. And I don't really see it very, as being very necessary. It's just a decent card. I do have a lot, now a lot more ways for getting your cost to graveyard. Oh, okay, what point he wants to uh, summon a blue eyes? And the thing that I'm going to let it happen. The white spirit round. And he she makes his reborn. Yeah, I think I'm going to match that. Yeah, the all strike that. Uh. Yeah, so strikes definitely are really broken as one of the cards. 
Wow, she was quite well. I guess I have to use the second note this as well. Kind of fine. And demo point has pretty much nothing left. Yeah, this card should definitely be limited to one at least. Just uh, late broken. And it's kind of weird that in top text they don't even play it. Okay, the wise white dragon. Not bad at all, I guess. Mm, I'm not sure what to do, even. Yeah, I think I used to see it again. So I kind of need to get rid of the two of these. Mm. And the summon that number 47. So you can just reduce the attack of that blue ones. Yeah, attacking. Then I am also very, very, very much shocked and search out my double queen shock. Yeah, this deck can still do something. I think I have fixed a few issues with this deck and made it a little bit better at least. A priest, not bad at all, I guess. That could be pretty dangerous as well. If I can back, get back maybe and then go we'll on it and start made me made with muslim and get out the blue eyes. Thankfully I don't think my plant can kill me. But we'll see I guess see more plant is uh, of course Good. Oh, actually, it goes for Sage Knight instead. Instead, yeah, it goes to summon the blue eyes from the deck. But now, what? No, but it doesn't have enough damage to kill me, thankfully. Otherwise, I would have been pretty screwed, and who was summoning the Mermaid Shark would have been a mistake. No, point is still thinking. No, oh, Ancient Wisdom. No, but I don't think that helps because it don't. Not even summon it. You have to have a regular blue eyes in your hand for that. That's why I really don't like the alternative white dragon too much. It can be very bad at times. They don't have the regular blue eyes in your hand. That's why I think you might still want to run at least one of the regular white stone. Just to get easier access to and a blue eyes to the hand. We have the salvage as well. We haven't really used it very often, to be honest, because it's always pretty slow card and it needs graveyard setup. And it no other you don't really have have time for that. It's definitely a very late game card, mostly. And finally my plant does something. Well that's why I think. If you don't of course my plant doesn't have on us. The last card in my plant's hand is alternative white driver, so that's good for me.
So double pin shock. So Ooh, actually I can't do this combo I think and I'm not sure if it even works. Because I want can reduce the attack of blue eyes, but I'm uh, not sure if I'm able to activate the effect as well. I guess why not try it out at least. And I can still activate the effect of what is there. And then still attack. That was definitely a really good play. That's why now Ragnar Zero works a lot better in this deck than before, thanks to number 37. Of course, you still need to get them to the filler at the same time, which is. Something that doesn't happen very often because the deck is kind of slow. So it's still not bad either. I'm trading. But uh, that was pretty nice top, top deck by my plant for sure. But my plant didn't seem like my plant got anything, so I won this now as well. I think I won all of my duels uh, in this video, which is pretty good, but considering it's a Yu Gi Oh! Pro, it doesn't really mean much at all. So, uh, this is it for this uh, episode of Reverse of Rank Up. I hope you enjoyed this episode. For now, uh, goodbye and Omega Chaos out.